Hello everybody and welcome to the Italian Tune-Up Show. I'm John Gagliardi and today we're going to be performing surgery on Vanessa. Today she has proven herself worthy of a new battery, 1300 mega amp hours, ISO 9001 certified, only the best for Vanessa. And she will also be getting the cheapest uh, compact flash to micro SD that money could buy. Only the best here. Uh, everybody says that, you know, the iFlash ones are better, and they're probably right. Uh, I've got one of these running in my fourth gen iPod Classic, um, working just fine. Caveat, it did take me three years to get that running pro properly, but it's probably my fault, I'm guessing. Um, hopefully this video isn't three years long, but let's jump into it and keep going. Uh, let's see. So this is my fourth gen that you saw in the last video. Oh, sorry, fourth gen. This is my mini that you saw in the last video. Second gen of the mini. Came with four gigs originally. Um, works really well. Touch works really well. Cases really well. All the switches work properly. So we can, uh, we've nominated her for the transplant. She's earned it. She stayed together over the years, so uh, let's see if we can get in here. I think I remember how to do this from watching enough videos, but uh, if I can't, I'll go figure it out and come back, and you won't even know. Gotta love technology. Let's see if I can get in here. All right, from what I remember, you gotta pry this one up somehow. Wow, that's cheap. Huh. Okay. <laughs> let's... Uh, Move on to something maybe a bit more metal. Is that thin enough? Maybe. That one's a little thinner. Let's try that. I don't want to scratch the green. I'm just trying not to scratch the green because everything looks so good on this one. Oh, we got in a little. Oh, she's up. Got a finger in there. All right. Now let's uh, gently, can I use your cork carcass to Go down here. Anything in here I gotta worry about? I don't think so, but I'm trying not to use too much metal. I got a guitar pick over here. Let's use that. All right. It's going good so far. Picking it up. A little double sided tape in there. I can replace that. That's easy enough. All right. So, first part out. And there's something to do. Uh-oh. She needs an anesthetic. We don't want her waking up during surgery. Off and anesthetic. Anesthetic? Is that the thing that knocks you out? I have no idea. All right. So we got to take those two little pins out from what I remember. These little clippy the guys here. Hole in the hole. Oop. Try not to break things while doing it. A little gunky. I think that's just the double-sided tape. I don't think anybody's been in here before. Let's start on this side where there's no ribbon cable. Uh, okay. But they have like an over-engineered tool at Apple to do this back in the day. Actually, I'm, I'm curious if Apple even uh, repairs these anymore. If I could, I send this to Apple and get them to put a new battery in, or is that just like one? Something they just won't do anymore. I'm assuming they won't do it anymore. They'll tell you to go down the street to a uh, local repair center and have them take a stab at it. But wow, that bent my tweezers. Sorry. Uh, maybe we can bend it back while oh, we're working on it. Oh, so the clip's a little harder to get out than it looks and it shows. But we won't let that discourage us. Do not scratch. The iPod. I might need something more substantial. Don't break my screw. I don't want to break my screwdriver. What else can we jam in there that we don't care the outcome of? Oh, that's just a flathead. Oh, oh wow, that's really in there, huh? Oh, okay, lifting up helps, I guess. Twist. All right, there we go. Does that jam the other side in even more? Maybe back to the tweezers a little. I don't want to hurt that ribbon cable. Be nice. I love you. Don't you love me? I'm trying to give you a second life. Just come apart, please. 
All right, perfect. Uh, did we hurt this thing? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. It's pretty robust. And it looks like there wasn't a right or a left, so we can go back any other direction. So I don't have to worry too much about that. All right. Then we've got that ribbon cable, which looks like it's just it looks like it's just press fit onto the connector there. All right. Let's straighten my tweezers back out real fast first. Okay, oh, the other way. These are malleable, customizable tweezers, apparently. All right, You're scaring me, Vanessa. Yeah, that side doesn't go anywhere. It's got to be just pressed in there. Yep, there we go. Okay, well, that's a little more robust than I thought it was going to be. All right, cool. Next up, slides out. I thought there were supposed to be screws or something. Huh. I don't know. Nope. Don't want to break it. Hopefully the battery hasn't swollen up so much that it's going to be hard to get out. I don't see any screws unless I'm completely blind, which is possible. All right, I'm going to go to the video. All right, I know what's missing now. I take off the top cover too. Do, 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 do. Oh, I really don't want to scratch it. Wow, that's so thin. How does Apple do this? yourself people this is just the dumb way to do it so I'll take off a little bit wow that's hard plastic <laughs> I know the knife is sharp try that again oh almost oh we're in oh come on get in oh ow almost there come on wow <laughs> well, maybe it's loose enough now just for this guy under Slide. Oh, wow, they're tough. <laughs> I'm not deforming the metal doing this. Come on. Definitely happy I'm using plastic things because this would be scratching it up by now. Come on, you can do it. Oh, man, the metal's poking out already. I have to figure out a way to bend that back later. Okay, got it started. Try to cut along where the tape is. That seems like it's coming out. I don't think there's anything in here to break, but I'm also not sure. Okay. Yeah, the hold switch stays in the top. All right. That does go back on a certain direction. And the tape might be usable again. This one's got screws now. Okay, let's get the little screws out. Go on to the next step. Mr. Philip. screwdrivers are your friend. I think those are the only two screws and now that that's up, now I think it'll just push out. Oh, all right. Don't touch the screen. Yep, looks like it's coming out okay. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now we get to look at Vanessa's girly bits. All right. so we don't scratch it. And this is the inside. Motherboard, screen connector. Try not to touch any of the little bits. Everything else, I mean, like I said, this one works really good. We got the battery here. That, oh, don't touch the screen. Looks like battery connector wraps around that way. Oh, it's got a little bit of foam stuck to it that's stuck to the motherboard. Okay. Interesting. 
testing. Oh, this pops off. All right, let's pop that. Wiring out. Swiss Army Vetronox Cyber Tool, one of my favorite little things to keep in a backpack. I think I told you about it in the last video, but it's got a little bit of everything. Not really great at any one thing, but it works. Ah, perfect. All right, that guy's out. Now we're gonna move on to the micro drive. Technically works fine, but definitely could go for a little more storage. So let's do both at once. Some uh, tape here, pull up. My tweezers are boned. All right. Because I don't have to be that nice with the tape. Just trying to stab myself. Two, three, four. save the hard drive because we know it's a known good. There's literally nothing wrong with this little Apple branded Hitachi compact flash card size and connection spinning hard drive. Why would you put a spinning hard drive in here? Was tech just not that good yet? Your compact were four gig compact flash cards that expensive where something spinning was made more sense. I'm not a big fan of spinning media. Ah, wait a second. Did I have to take all that tape off? I thought I had to. Oh, maybe it's to get the connector off. Little corners, we'll try to reuse those. Those look fun. I'm gonna take these all the way off the back anyway. Put those corners back on. Okay, now the pins. Gentle. Gen, gen, oh, it's already come out, good. Gentle. Perfect. All right, let's get into our bits and pieces. We'll start with, so we'll start with the CF card adapter. Should work fine. All right, and we're gonna be putting into her Samsung 128 Evo. I just formatted it for uh, Mac OS journals. Let's see if it takes it. Uh, if not, we'll be reformatting and starting again. At least the installation of these are pretty easy. One. Two. These have the same number of pins, right? Do not bend pins. Be gentle. Do not be brute. Come on, you can do it. a custom fit. Might fit. Alright, well, let's uh, make sure she turns on. It will not help us without the quick wheel being attached, I don't think. So let's just get that quick wheel out. Look at this, we're making 
mini Shrek. The mini Shrek pod. state and we'll uh then we'll put her back together when she's working all right i'm back and i am super excited after a grueling two hours worth of uploading and downloading and trying and actually not too much trouble at all um, but except for the waiting for 60 gigs worth of data to transfer to the 128 card she lives she's formatted she's in all her mini Shrek pod goodness um, right now we're gonna try to wedge her back in but yeah we got some stuff in her English this is the reboot screen obviously Let's see if we just get to the next part yeah, music, playlists, all the good stuff. The best songs are free, right? All right, we'll try that song out as soon as we get it back together. Let's see if we can wedge her back in without getting these uh, cables in the way. First things first, let's shut her down. Give her an anesthetic. Well, we gotta re-disconnect click wheel. We just put it on for testing. So we make sure it works before we fit her back together. Wiggle her out. Alright. So first things first. Let's get that quick click wheel back in. Should be no issue. Goes in this way. It's just that little carrier. Area right there at the top. We'll slide it into. Sound of my Fuji film. Oh, I think we might have scratched her on the way out. Oh, the click wheel was really nice. What are you gonna do? All right. So let's get that lined back up. Click in. Strat, hold the button down a little, click it in when you start to want to make her meander in. Let's hold it from there. Oh, that sounds tight. I you know it's supposed to be tight, but it wasn't that hard to get out. Wait, oh, it's peeling the plastic off. It wasn't that hard to get out. Am I doing something wrong? Oh. That's a custom fit, I guess. Here. Those are the rails. Oh, it feels a little better, I guess. Well, we're just gonna push her in. We're full send. Oh, it's so tight. Come on. Be good. Maybe so. Alright, there we go. She's in. And clicked up. Scratched my click wheel. Come on. That's okay, I guess. Maybe that just means I need to clean it more. Okay. Let's uh let's clean underneath our screen while we uh while we got it apart. We'll dust it off a little bit. Thank you. 
after an annoying amount of fiddling, uh, we got it slid back into the chassis. So only thing left to do is, hopefully only thing left to do is re-put the ribbon connector on the bottom here. Just flips over. Oh, come back, come back. Okay, that goes there. Uh, before we put the screws in, let's just get the old switch off. Make sure she fires up. All right, turn it on. Oh, good English. Music, playlists. Uh, okay, that looks good. Let's uh. Let's throw a, uh, let's hook it up to the speaker and give it a quick test. Mm. Looks like it's working. Let's put the screws back in. Magnetic screwdriver, best thing in the world. I think both the screws were the same. I actually forgot to mention them as I was taking them out. Two screws come up bottom. We need that funky little plate. Sticky side out. You did a pretty good job not destroying the case in the process. I'm proud of me. I don't care if you are, but I like my handiwork. That's the, way, the only way to live. As long as you like what you're doing and you're happy with it, it's all that matters. I stand by my, my uh, one of my very, very, very good friends. Uh, his uncle was a building inspector in New Hampshire. His theory was, good enough for who it's for <laughs> so I kind of like that I've adopted that as my own uh, I'm with that with most things in my life sometimes it's better just to have fun than it is to worry about if it's perfect or not good tops in let's do the bottom bottom Ooh, there's three sets of prongy things Guessing it goes this way so the prongs don't hurt the ribbon cable. So we have one less set of prongs there. Put that by the ribbon cable pin. The old snap and stick. Alright, I think we're good. Old switch work? Yeah. Alright. Looks like we're good. Did it change the name of the iPod? Does it still say it's VPod or Vanessa? Let's look, settings. A boot. Oh, just iPod. We'll fix that in a minute. But yeah, looks like we're good. Double check one more time that I didn't break anything. play us out. Thanks for watching everybody and uh, you can do it too. Have fun.